Hi guys, it's Jake and Emma. So today we thought it would be fun to do a little story time video on this channel because you guys really seemed to like the last one and something pretty interesting happened to us yesterday. So Jake was driving me along the Blue Ridge Parkway showing me the mountains and we stopped by this overlook and uh, it, the view was beautiful there but we saw this little trail and we thought we'd go explore a little bit. Basically the Blue Ridge Parkway is this area of land that's been set aside by the federal government and it kind of like snakes along the Appalachian Mountains where I live. Uh, and it's super, super pretty. If you look on our Instagram, you can see some photos of the Blue Ridge Parkway, it's amazing. Um, and there are all these overlooks that look out on the mountains of North Carolina, and there are lots of other mountains. Um, it goes all the way like along the East Coast. And there are these trails that go off it, um, and you can like take them down to overlooks that are further away and a little bit off the road or off the beaten path. And basically, I had never gone down this trail before, but I knew about it and we thought it would be fun to go down it. It was a little bit creepy at first when we got there, um, because we weren't the only people there. There was another car parked there and there was no one in sight, so they couldn't have gone very far. Um, and the only trail visible was the trail that we were going on. And we never saw anyone, and it was, I mean, it's pretty creepy, like, it's in the middle of a forest. It's a trail that is, like, this steep. And we were down pretty far into it, like to the point where no one could hear you scream from the road. Yeah. Um, I and think we were walking for a while. Yeah, we walked for a really long time. And there were all these like spider webs everywhere, so it seemed like nobody had been on the trail for a long time. But then there was that empty car back up in the parking area. Um, so we were getting pretty freaked out. We started hearing noises, things <laughs> moving in the bushes. <laughs> Lots of noises. Yeah. And we both were like, no, this is stupid. And we got down to like, uh, what we thought was the bottom of the trail and then it snaked further down into the woods and the further down we got the more noises we heard and it was already it was kind of already getting dark like it was near sunset yeah um and so we were both a little freaked out and we were like speaking to each other in code um, <laughs> in case someone was listening to us <laughs> and so eventually we both got pretty freaked out and we decided to turn back around and go back up the trail um because we were losers um, but <laughs> we didn't want to die in the woods, okay? <laughs> it was really scary you had to be there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the real scary part happened when we got back out of the trail and we noticed there was another car. A um, new car. Yeah, a new car. And the old car was still there. But there was a new car there and this time there were people in it and they were two old men. And when we got out of the trail they were like, Y'all have fun! <laughs> and so we were like, yeah, it was a cool trail. Yeah. And then I was ready to leave because they were really creepy. And Emma, <laughs> Emma was like, no, let me take a picture of the view. But it was beautiful. <laughs> and so she walked up right next to their car to take this picture. <laughs> and so I felt like I had to go too because they were, like, they were pretty creepy guys. Um, and then he started talking to us. Um, and at first he just asked us for directions because he didn't know, like, they weren't from around here, so he didn't know which way to go. Then he told us that he's actually from New York, so we thought that was a pretty cool um, coincidence, and we thought maybe he's not as scary as we initially thought he was. Then he asked us what we studied, since we told him that we are students in New York, and uh, Jake said he studies theater, and I said neuroscience, and... Hmm. And this is where <laughs> <laughs> things took a turn. Um, he was pretty interested in neuroscience, well, yeah, he was asking me if I'd ever heard of these chips, and as soon as he said that word, I knew, oh no, this is going into a weird direction now. I could feel Emma's body, like, contract, <laughs> because one of, whenever Emma tells anyone she studies neuroscience, I think they feel like they have to tell her anything they know about the brain, whether or not those things are true. Yeah, um, like weird articles they've seen online about stuff that hasn't really actually been... Yeah, like hypnotism and yeah. microchips and just like the craziest stuff that you would think that nobody would believe. I mean, I, I still wasn't like nervous. I just thought he was a little crazy because he was just like, oh yeah, have you seen... What was it he called them? He was like... Because um, I thought he was going in a different place. He said translator chips. Yeah, I, I, thought I thought he was going to say something about translating languages and I was going to make a joke like, oh, Jake could use that because... I was too. Or something. I was so ready yeah. he, because he called them translator chips and I was going to be like, oh, well, I could have that because then I could understand Finnish. Yeah. And then it did not go in that direction. No, he meant translator chips as in translating from like technology and digital stuff into human thoughts. And, and how you would be like constantly connected to the internet. Um, <laughs> like a Google Glass in your brain. Which, like, I understand. Like, that's like maybe a dream. And still not creepy necessarily at this point, just a little crazy. Yeah. Um, but then, <laughs> then we went a step further. And he started talking about how it already existed. 
And then he asked us, Like, have you heard about the study they did on the babies? The government <laughs> did this study on the babies where they implanted these microchips into their heads and, you know, they were connected to the internet the whole time. <laughs> And he started talking about this different, uh, I can't remember, maybe one of you know, but he said there was this race of people in Star Trek um, oh, yeah. that he was basing his theories off of who had microchips in their brains and that like the, their government controlled them. And he was like, that's what we're headed toward. Um, and, and then he talked more about the babies saying something like, even when they were told to go to war, to war they went to war. And I was like, what babies are going to war? <laughs> Yeah, he seemed to fully believe what he was talking about. And he kept talking about how, you know, eventually we're all gonna have these microchips in our brain. And um, I think he was just really into science fiction. Yeah. But he was taking his warning to us very seriously. Yeah. Um, because he was like, I've seen the world change because he was like 60 or something. Yeah. And uh, then he was like, you guys have to resist this. We, we kept trying to make comments to kind of end the conversation. Like I was like, yeah, you know, it's all about the integrity of the people in charge of this stuff. and. Yeah, it's really scary and <laughs> trying to kind of end the conversation, but he kept going on. <laughs> he actually had a guy in the car with him and he never s said a word the he whole time. He didn't even look at us. Yeah. Um, and the dog kept barking and it sounded like a distress bark to me. It was creepy, especially after being on that trail um, and thinking we were going to die, then getting up there and learning about how we are all secret government um, drones or sheep. <laughs> I'm sure he was a nice guy and he probably had our best intentions at heart. Yeah. Um, but it was pretty creepy. Yeah. And I think it's easy to kind of, because on the internet there are so many articles that are written in a way that they seem legitimate, even though they're not really reporting on real stuff. <laughs> and all these microchips in our heads, it's hard to keep track of what's reality and what's not. <laughs> <laughs> so. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've ever had a crazy stranger um, come up and talk to you about something wild like this, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. And if we had the power to put microchips into your heads, we'd make you subscribe right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching, and as always... Kitos, hey hey!